Some new information now on the man accused of gunning down five people at the Fort Lauderdale airport earlier this month. Esteban Santiago will appear in federal court for his arraignment today. If convicted of murder, the 26-year-old veteran from Alaska could face the death penalty. Steve Harrigan is live for us outside the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with more. Steve. John, 26-year-old Esteban Santiago is in federal court behind me. He's been indicted on 22 federal counts, including using a, using a weapon in an international airport to commit murder. That means he could be facing the death penalty. The Alaska native and former Iraqi war veteran uh, has been facing those multiple charges, including killing five people inside Fort Lauderdale International Airport on January 6th, wounding six more. He flew from Alaska to Florida. He checked one bag. Inside that bag was a handgun as well as ammunition. Upon arrival in Fort Lauderdale, he went to the men's room, started loading that gun, came out firing. He didn't say a word, but he fired 15 shots, simply reloading his clip. Now, many of those killed were senior citizens in Florida on vacation to go on cruise ships. So far, authorities have not ruled out any links to terrorism. Santiago has visited chat sites, jihadi chat sites, on the Internet that have been linked to the Islamic State. John, back to you. Wow, what a story. Thanks very much. Steve Harrigan, live for us in Fort Lauderdale.